Hey everyone, I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Sconcy Business, and today we're here with Mark DeMiesel, who has been really uh, getting a lot of attention on Redot Cash. He's donated about ninety-five thousand dollars in Bitcoin Cash uh, last time I checked, at least, and tipped over twenty-two thousand dollars in Bitcoin Cash. So you know he's really, really supporting this community and made a huge impact and we want to just dive into that today and uh, learn about the man that is Mark DeMiesel. So if you'd like to just start off by introducing yourself, that'd be awesome. Uh, thanks so much, Scott. Uh, yeah, so I'm Mark. Um, I've been um, investing a long time and uh, sharing my investments since uh, 20, um, actually 20, 2009, uh, where I uh, really started um, sharing my investments and um and um and yeah um since 2013 the middle of 2013 i've been sharing my investments in cryptocurrency bitcoin uh at the time it was a hundred dollars when i started sharing but i started right. investing when it was ten dollars the year before in 2012 and before that i was a gold investor um and um yeah uh, that's a little bit what i've been doing uh, and and I also love like of course uh, freedom and 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 um, I, I really um, yeah I talk uh, bluntly about uh, the things I see um, when it comes to uh, global politics also because it does affect uh, investing a lot if you're not aware what's happening uh, behind the scenes uh, then you get fooled easily uh, with all the uh, uh, political events on the news all the time so I, I do speak about those things also yeah. 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 So um, what was the motivation to to make that huge donation uh, or rather those two big donations on Cash, and to uh, uh, be tipping such large amounts to a lot of the users there? Well, uh, the, the big motivation is to want to make Bitcoin Cash a success or to want to make cryptocurrencies a success um, uh, because I think it's super important because I think the thing that goes wrong um, I mean, um, uh, still uh, largely in the West is um, um, that the governments, um, they tax a lot uh, via taxation, but they also, via inflation, actually they steal as much as they do via taxation. Eh? Uh, people say taxes are high, uh, but yeah, and they are actually in many countries, um, also in Canada and America and, and in Europe. Uh, but um, yeah, it's about half of, of what you work for that the government takes, but that's not counting for inflation. If you count inflation also, it's a lot more than that because actually half the income of the government is from taxes, the other half is from inflation. So every day they print more money. And, and as a consequence, both of these systems actually, they sell us help uh, that it is good uh, for a social system and, and, uh, and it helps the poor, but it's, it's not true. Uh, inflation really the it's the poor especially that pay that uh, like it's some yeah. uh, rich people don't have much money in cash because they know it goes down in value and and they lose they will lose uh, money if they invest in cash so they are invest in hard assets like real estate and businesses and and, and gold or, or cryptocurrencies but but um but poor people they don't have the time to really study investing so when they are able to save some money put on a bank account and they are the ones that actually pay the high price of inflation so um uh, but, but 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 for poor people it's not so easy like they know like yeah okay i should be investing in real estate but in order to to take that step it's a big step for them it takes many many years and um and and and, and so what do we need we actually need just a better money system um because Money should be should save your energy. Like the idea of money is okay. I, I I get the money and I can buy something else with it, but not that in the meantime the value goes down. And no, you can just keep that value and then buy something else with it. That's good money. Uh, but uh, but we don't have that uh, good money. Uh, but with cryptocurrencies we we have it again because it was like about four hundred years that it was actually there was no good money. Um, and, and, and now we have it again with cryptocurrencies. And, and so I think that's really the future because it's a simple concept. Like instead of saving euros or US dollars uh, or, or, or local fiat currency, you just save Bitcoin uh, or another crypto that you like. 
and the government cannot print more of it, so you will keep your value. Um, uh, so that's that's really what motivates, what drives me to 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 build uh, Bitcoin Cash is that it's a better solution for people to save their money, uh, and um, and it's not only that it it it, it 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 the government can't inflate it away. You can really own it yourself also because on a bank account you don't really own it. It's just like one signature and you lose access to all your money. Uh, or your stocks, it's just one local uh, judge that may not like your face, one signature and you lose all your assets, huh? you, mm-hmm. your real estate also all confiscated huh? with one signature. You can't really hold it. Huh? You can hold a billion gold, yes, but that's such old money and so, so impractical and not accepted by anyone that people don't do that anymore. Huh? Uh, 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 yes, you can hold physical cash, but you put a few years in, in your in your in, in your storage, and it is the value is evaporated. Uh, it goes very quickly. Um, so, but with crypto, you can really hold it yourself, and it's practical. You can just cross borders like nobody will find it, and it doesn't lose its value. So it's really great, uh, great, uh, great um, innovation. Huh? Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I absolutely agree. Uh, for people who aren't aware, uh, I believe it was that the U.S. dollar from 1913 to 2013, I think it was over 100 years there, it lost about 94, 95% of its value uh, from inflation. So, you know, that's a perfect example of why just storing your money in fiat is uh, is not going to work out very well for you. So why did you decide to go... Uh, with Bitcoin Cash, or is that just um, because of Redot Cash, or is that kind of like your main investment? Uh, what are, What are your thoughts there? Well, I invested uh, in Bitcoin uh, uh, in the beginning, and, and and other cryptocurrencies that I thought were uh, good offerings, um, and 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 that's still the same today. Uh, it's just that uh, Bitcoin has been split into several projects. And, and, and I believe Bitcoin Cash is the best one of these several. You have Bitcoin Core, right? the big, the big one. You have Bitcoin Cash, you have Bitcoin SV, you have, have even more. Um, mm-hmm. So, so um, you have to study a little bit more. But, uh, but what, what, what I like about Bitcoin is that it's, uh, it's a simple uh, 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 concept. You just like it's easy to transact, easy to store. Uh, it's cheap. To transact, eh? it's cheap to store. It's very important. Otherwise, the masses won't adopt it, eh? and that's was lost with uh, with the Bitcoin uh, core. Uh, but you still have that with Bitcoin Cash. Eh? Uh, so that's why I really like uh, Bitcoin Cash. Um, and um, um, yeah, uh, that's it actually. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense to me. And um, like. Is that your main investment then now, Bitcoin Cash, or is that just like, uh, well, I mean, feel free to elaborate. Yes, yes. So, 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 I, I, my portfolio is about uh, forty-five percent cryptocurrencies, and then fifty-five percent other investments like stocks and uh, stocks. Um, uh, now, so right now, my I have a pretty small exposure to crypto, only forty-five percent. Um, but of that 45%, about 30% is uh, is Bitcoin Cash and then 15% is Ethereum. So so Bitcoin Cash is my biggest position um, uh, because I believe that the risk reward is, is, is the same as Ethereum. Actually, it's even not as good as Ethereum, I would say. Uh, I think Ethereum has a better risk reward. Um, uh, but... My heart is into uh, the project Bitcoin Cash. I really, um, I love the project, and and what what I uh, and therefore it is my biggest allocation, um, and I really want to make that a, a success because I think um, uh, it really has to be simple for 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 people to adopt it, and they're not going to adopt the cryptocurrency they never heard about. People need to mm. hear uh, about hundred times. Or about something before they're gonna start using it, um, uh, and so Bitcoin is a very it's the only thing they know about the whole crypto world is the word Bitcoin. They don't even know the word crypto. They don't know Ethereum, even though it's the second biggest one. They never heard about Ripple, like even though actually that's the second biggest one. Like, but 
It's only the word Bitcoin that they know. So if the masses are going to adopt anything, it will be Bitcoin. Um, nine chances in ten. Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, and and so um, uh, uh, and and why? Because Bitcoin did it. Bitcoin was the one that opened this whole industry. Bitcoin was the. Uh, 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 the one that did it, similar like in EVs, if you want to buy an EV car, what is it? Uh, 9 and 10 will say Tesla, uh, 99 and 100 will say Tesla, because it's, it's the one that did it. Eh? It's the one that broke, up, broke, uh, broke open the market. And so um, uh, uh, such a dominant position um, is very important to preserve. Like that has a lot of value that 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 name and so what happened in and so that's why I invest in Bitcoin Cash because I believe that yes in Ethereum they did uh, certain things much better than Bitcoin Cash, um, but but it doesn't have the brand name huh? uh, and, and 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 that makes a big difference uh, and and in Ethereum even though I, certain things did a lot better like it has for example many more apps built on top of it. Huh? which increases the chance that there will be a killer app built on top of it, which will uh, 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 raise the demand for Ether and, 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 and it causes it to be a good investment. But, but for example, the problem with Ethereum is that the transaction fees are relatively high. They are not really uh, doing that so well. Uh, and that's mm. very important. Like Bitcoin Cash, the transaction fees continue to be very cheap. Yeah. So they do a great job there. Huh? Um, yeah. But Bitcoin Cash, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, I, I've always believed that social media with crypto or blockchain technology will be sort of one of the leading things that will get mass adoption uh, for the space because, you know, mm -hmm. once people find a way to earn it for free, they'll figure out all the rest, right? It's like, okay, well, I have this free Bitcoin cash. How do I connect it to my bank account? How do I exchange? How do I do everything else? And then they kind of learn from that. So I think that's really important. Um, do you find that uh, re.cash is like one of the main platforms you use? Do you use memo.cash? Uh, are there any other Bitcoin Cash platforms that you use? What is, what is your preferences there? Yeah, I haven't studied uh, the space well. Uh, I tried memo.cash and there was another one also, but I just didn't find it like uh, appealing to use so so I didn't continue to do so it looked a bit confusing and the layout didn't look very well so so uh, but but only later read.cash came on the scene and it caught my eye at the beginning of the year or so um, and 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 I thought that that, that looks good like the, it looks good the website looks good uh, it's very important um, uh, and um and, and so I agree with you that um, social media, actually the thing is really great what you're saying, that the social media is likely going to be the one that really starts to bring crypto to the masses. Uh, they get some crypto via that uh, way and, and then they start using it. And and yeah, I, I, I would agree with you. you like I, I, Bitcoin Cash has long tried to see brick and mortar uh, adoption, uh, merchant adoption, but I don't think crypto is competitive enough there. Huh? It's too much of a hassle for restaurant owners to to really like figure out how do I accept Bitcoin Cash and then to to mm. educate the employees and and it's not worth it because the amount of extra customers they get by accepting this new currency is too low, uh, so it doesn't mm. pay off. But indeed, something like read.cash. Um, uh, 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 is is a great solution. Uh, like people want to make money online, and um, it, it's um, it, it's a great way to reward uh, people. Um, and it makes financial sense for a, a currency holder like me to really sponsor something like this because we really need adoption. That's the problem of Bitcoin Cash and of all cryptos. Like, yeah, you have a nice tech there, but if nobody uses it, the value is zero. If nobody values it. There is no value. And, and as of today, all the value in crypto world comes from investors who value it because they hope or believe that in the future, the masses will value it and they will buy it for, for a higher price from them. But um, uh, uh, you also have to make that happen. And, and for that, you need massive adoption. And um, almost all cryptos fail in that um, because it, it's not sufficient to buy some nice tech. And even the innovations that we saw in the crypto in industry where you do, for example, airdrops, 
uh, you give free coins to people. It's not working. People just say thank you, they sell it, and they're gone. Huh? And they put their money yeah. in their pocket and they're gone. Uh, 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 it's 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 hard. And indeed, Retail Cash uh, has uh, found a system where they reward people for their efforts, huh? uh, for their activity online. Uh, you don't get money for nothing. No, you have to work for that money. Uh, but it's it's yeah it's 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 a it's a very small amount that you can make but for many people in the world actually that is meaningful uh, and um, um, uh, therefore it's it's very profitable it's actually a very cheap way for bitcoin cash to find new adop uh, new adoption huh? um, people that work for it and they get five dollar or ten dollars worth of bitcoin cash is uh, is um, uh, is a great investment because the potential oh, yeah. Like how how much value does one user bring to Bitcoin Cash? Well, it's about five thousand to ten thousand dollars huh? per user. If you look at the fiat system, the U.S. dollar system, the euro system, how much is that value? It's a value to about five to ten thousand dollars per user. Uh, so that's the value that a, a, a human, on average, puts into a cash system that they use is about five to ten thousand on average. Huh? Some rich guys will put a hundred thousand, and maybe there is one that puts a million in. But and many poor people only put like thousand in or so, or a few hundred. But the average is about five to ten thousand dollars. That's the value that people so uh, add to the system. So if one user on Retot Cash gets Bitcoin Cash, uh, starts to use that and starts to value that and starts to use that as the, his main currency. Then actually, he will bring about five to ten thousand dollar of value to that currency over the next few years. The moment he starts really using it huh? uh, and saving in it, huh? so awesome, so that's awesome. That's, I, yeah. yeah, I really awesome. like your your very forward looking approach. I so so have you, have you kind of approached this from the get go with a very very long term mindset, like you're looking 10, 20, 30 years into the future kind of thing. Yes, 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 yes. This is a very long-term play. Uh, even though crypto goes to booms and busts, uh, 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 yes, it's the, the the that's indeed the 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 goal that people start to use Bitcoin Cash in the long term. Uh, and 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 right now we're in the um, how do you say that the Cambrian explosion of cryptocurrencies, and you see that in every industry. Um, um, the car industry 100 years ago, you had like in every city you had their own car company uh, and, 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 and thousands of car companies you had. But then as in the, the first 10 years, as the, the new technology is invented, everybody can make a profitable car because they can ask such a high price also uh, uh, because it's new tech and offer very little, maybe even only just promises and they have a business. But over time, um, uh, it becomes more and more competitive and you see less and less players and more and more consolidation in the industry. You will see that with crypto also, we, we, we had the Cambrian explosion, the first 10 years is past now, and we have about 5,000 cryptocurrencies. Um, uh, even though I think we're going to have a, a, a big bubble again over the next two to three years, um, I think um, uh, the explosion in, in, in offerings, uh, we will not see like the previous bubble, we will see we start to go more and more to consolid consolidation. Huh? Um, and, uh, and indeed, uh, it's super important to, um, to uh, be on top of this. I mean, uh, it's a very competitive industry. And, uh, and, uh, and, and in order to find adoption, it will be very difficult. But I think Bitcoin Cash has a great model because it's pure voluntaristic based. Huh? So the, it's, there is no business model where a piece of the inflation goes to pay for developers or for marketeers. You have that in several coins. Uh, like, for example, you have that in, 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 in Dash and you have that in um, Zcash. And, uh, uh, but the problem with that is that it centralizes development and marketing a lot and it takes away the I I idealism. And, 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 and the power of a cryptocurrency is really that you have every new user also becomes a promoter. They, because they they want others to start using it also because then they also make a profit. Like the more people that start using it, the supply is limited. The more uh, uh, people there will be demand for a limited supply of coins, and the more the value will go up. And so it's profitable to to tell to other people and get other people started. 
But of course, if you have a, like a central organization that gets a piece of the inflation and, and pays themselves well, uh, the developers and pays some selected marketeers well, then the the drive to to really promote it yourself goes away because you expect those people that get paid for it to do it for you. Huh? So it becomes mm -hmm. more of a business, a centralized business, and 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 so uh, that's one problem. The other problem is also that this is the fight, like. You're competing with the government fiat. The government will not let their monopolistic business that gives them half of their income let go so easily to some uh, some nerds on the internet. Eh? Uh, they they are actually fighting very hard to keep their uh, monopoly, not with outright um, uh, arrests anymore like they used to do. Uh, only 10, 20 years ago, they would just arrest you if you start your own private currency. Uh, they decided to stop doing that uh, with the launch of Bitcoin, uh, and 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 and. But they are really active on 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 using other legal ways to make it very hard to use cryptocurrencies. And of course, also I do believe uh, there is lots of evidence that they are also active on the internet with uh, with uh, with uh, trolls and bots and 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 really try to uh, um, um, I, um, disrupt the community and. and Put a lot of toxic stuff and a lot of I really really make it a, a very unpleasant environment. I think they did that very successfully with Bitcoin, um, and that's why it also split into several uh, coins. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, this is something that uh, also when you have a centralized currency uh, that is very easy to take you down uh, when you have basically. Uh, a, 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 a project with, with a boss at the top or or like a, a, a paid team of devs and a paid teams of marketeers uh, in the center it's a very easy to attack eh? uh, uh, that's mm -hmm. why yeah decentralization is still valued highly in the cryptocurrency community because because you really need to be um, uh, strong against attack and, and, and bitcoin cash is also suffering from attacks still today um, uh, but the community has proven up until today to really not allow uh, central figures to hijack uh, the currency and the community. That's a constant uh, fight, but uh, Bitcoin Cash is doing that successfully. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So um, for, for the big donations that you made, what was kind of like your thought process there and like what was going through your head like when you made the original donation and then when you decided to donate a bunch more on top of that what what what, what was kind of going through your head for that um at first with retot cash um uh, 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 i like the project i want to support it uh, so I just used the website myself and, and tipped uh, a lot to, to people that i liked their work um but um, but then um, uh, they 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 launched this fund, and I w I didn't like that. I thought like okay, so then you're gonna start pay paying people just for placing stupid comments and uh, or just for cl clicking through pages. That seems like a waste of money. And, and and I've seen it in other models like Steam, for example. And I didn't like using that website because you could tell that people just place comments for for nothing like it, there is no 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 value added and and you think okay but they get paid for it that's why they do it but it really takes away of the value of the website so and I, and the read, read cash yet also started to happen when they launched this fund so i i, I didn't like it I, I didn't think it was the right path but then uh, they they explained like why it's so important it's because the growth was stagnating uh, with just the tipping system and, and the moment they start, they launched this fund, the growth picked up a lot again. Um, and, and, and so, uh, but they were also explaining that, okay, you do get crap content, but it is our challenge to really build the right algorithms so that you, you get qu the quality content on top and, and the crap content just uh, way below. And, and, um, and, 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 and that's possible, uh, they said. Like it's a lot of work, but it's possible, and and it is the future. And, and I could see, like, okay, it, it made sense to me. Like, yeah, Google search also worked that way. They also did actually. You could pay and to be the highest because I liked the the system before because I, I can tip, and when I tip them well, they are e even seen better on Retot Cash. Huh? 
Um, and, and with Google search, you have the same, like if you pay the highest price, you will be seen on top, but it's on the right side. On the left side, they use algorithms to judge themselves who should be on the top. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and so the combination of these two is a smart system. And, and that's what Retail Cash does now. And um, yeah, it makes sense to me uh, that they will, that, that they have a good chance to be uh, successful. Uh, and and um, because there will not be many crypto blogging platforms, uh, like it's very hard to create a successful uh, service uh, like uh, YouTube or like uh, Facebook or like uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, there are very few actually really or Reddit uh, that are really successful and there are thousands that try. And you see that also in this Bitcoin Cash community here, like you see Memo.Cash and there's a few others that have stopped already. Like uh, there are many people that try and in the crypto uh, blogging in general, you know a lot more about all the offerings than I do. Uh, but Steemit was 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 also um, uh, one of the first movers there. But to get it yeah. right and to to see it scale to a mass adoption is very difficult, and only a few, even maybe just one, will really succeed in that. Uh, but the one that succeeds in it may become very very big. And 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 so if if it would be retot cash, that would be like that alone may really. Uh, uh, support the value of Bitcoin Cash because right now the value of Bitcoin Cash is four billion, but that's all speculative. That's all from investors. It's not. It's very mm. little of that value comes from actual users. Huh? Uh, but you really have to like uh, find all those users. Huh? Uh, but that could come if Retail Cash is successful. Then it could come from uh, from that platform. Huh? You only need one really uh, app that that kills it to to to. To, to build that value for a, a cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely agree. And it, in my experience, it's definitely the best Bitcoin cash related platform that I've seen in terms of social media. Um, yeah, and it's definitely one of the best blogging platforms I've seen for crypto as well. The only other uh, blogging only platform that I can think of is Publish OX. Um, which is also very, very good, and they feel very, very similar um, in the way that they're used. One, one question I have, how do you feel about the fact that um, the Read.Cash fund is funded purely by like donations right now? Do you think that is sustainable? Uh, and, and what are your thoughts there? Because one thing that I thought, um, I don't know if they're planning to do this, or maybe they already are doing this, um, for for boosting on the platform i thought it would make a lot of sense if at least a portion of or the majority of boosting funds went to the uh the fund for read.cash and i think that would be a great way for them to sort of cycle that money and um and then that way they could it could be a lot more sustainable but what are your thoughts on the sustainability of that um well, uh, indeed, it's 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 only me that's now uh, really I yeah the few others there. But when you look at the amount of capital, is ninety five percent coming from me, um, and so but but I think it's possible that 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 will change over time. Um, I mean, we are in a bear market for cryptocurrency. To give more mm -hmm. uh, a piece of your crypto away today has a huge opportunity cost. Everybody knows that investing in crypto, you give your Bitcoin cash away today at $200. The potential value is five to $10,000. Every Bitcoin cash you give away, well, that's a huge opportunity loss. So, so the amount of donations is very small now mm -hmm. because of uh, the climate we are in, in crypto. Um, uh, but also, I think it's a learning process. Like I wasn't giving so much uh, uh, a couple of years ago, not at all, um, because you also want to build your wealth first. Huh? Um, uh, it's not smart to be very generous when you're still trying to make it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and also, um, uh, the business model on sich, um, uh, I didn't fully understand it yet. Um, like Roger Ver, for example, has been since inception very like uh, generous and and, and and trying to get people started with Bitcoin. Um, but but um, we've come to a point where uh, I've tried different other cryptocurrencies that actually have real business models that you could call sustainable, huh? where 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 there is a, a, a piece of the inflation always going to pay for development eh? or and with these blogging platforms what you can do is you can create a currency for it eh? uh, 
and, and you could build systems that are hooked as Steam does, for example, that, that you could say this is much more sustainable because it doesn't uh, depend on voluntary donations. Uh, but the problem yeah, with these systems is that um, uh, it, it creates many other vulnerabilities for a cryptocurrency system. Uh, like the, the most valuable thing when you build a cryptocurrency is that you want to be better than fiat. And what's the big problem with fiat is that they also print money every day for very important things, they say. Eh? For the poor, they print money. For the roads, they print money. They need schools. We need hospitals. For all that, they always print money. It's always very, very important, of course. But the end consequence is that the value of the currency goes down. Huh? So, um, uh, 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 and the problem is the moment you give someone an authority to print money, um, uh, uh, they are going to try to serve themselves. Huh? Uh, that authority and 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 so uh, uh, it's 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 a very uh, difficult problem to overcome and the way Bitcoin Cash overcomes this is by uh, saying nobody can print money and that's it huh? and we're gonna have to do it in a different way we're gonna have to pay the devs in a different way than printing money or the marketeers eh, or adoption projects eh, like Retail Cash we're gonna have to print uh, pay them different than via printing money eh? so it's basically you have to do it voluntarily. And that has some disadvantages, like you could say it's not sustainable, yes. But on the other hand, if someone offers value, a developer, a marketeer or an adoption project, they will get voluntary donations because the people that hold the currency, they also know like the value won't go up if there are no good developers, no good marketeers, no no, no projects that adopt the currency. The value will not go up, your, your investment will fail. So you have to also... Uh, give, but you have to give smartly and everybody needs to make that decision on their own with their own money and every uh, 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 coin you spend, you lose yourself. So you're going to think well about where you invest your money. Huh? So so I do believe that this, this, this voluntary business model is sustainable, but of course, it's much harder to get money from people. Uh, 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 but but that's that's good because that keeps the value of the money intact. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, like one other thing that I think might be a possible solution in the future is if they come out with some sort of um, ad monetization. Uh, I don't know exactly how they would do it, but I think that could be one potential way to solve uh, the sustainability um, because that's something that library right now, LBRY is doing where uh, they have a limited supply. They're not printing anymore. So you know, eventually they won't be able to continue giving out rewards. So their solution will be in the future to have uh, ads on the platform. Um, but people can choose whether or not they want to serve ads to their audience. You could just have free content with no ads whatsoever, or you could say you could ask for like a paywall or you could have them watch an ad. So I think something like that would make a lot of sense for read.cash as well. I also think the uh, sponsor program that they started is also really, really interesting. And I think that um will do will we'll serve the community very well as well are there any other platforms that you're aware of or that you've tested out uh like social media wise on blockchain or crypto i mean you mentioned steam um are there any others that you've played around with or tested out no uh, very no i i haven't done my research um i was curious you mentioned this publish uh io or something what was that uh yeah publish ox it is very uh -huh. similar to read.cash but uh, the major difference with them is that they don't have a native currency to the platform. What they do is uh, they have sponsors come in and donate a certain amount. So it's actually very similar in the way that they're running off of donations. Um, so right now they have uh, DAI, BAT, and uh, LRC, Loopring. They've all donated a certain amount and they usually get new sponsors every like month or two. And then essentially um, people on the platform will upvote and, and um, they'll go to tip someone. But their version of tipping is uh, you choose how much to give out of the pool of uh, donated tokens to a specific author. So you can't give them a lot, but you can choose uh, between a range of how much you'd like from the pool to go to them. And you can only donate to one author once a day. Um, I believe that's the limit. And you can only donate to three authors a day. So it's not coming from your own funds. It's coming out of the pool mm -hmm. of funds. Um, so it operates very similarly. Um, but yeah, it's also another great budding 
uh, mainly publisher based platform. And uh, a lot of the features that they have are very similar to where, um, you know, they both can embed. Uh, they they actually both have capability to embed library videos, LBRY, um, alongside like YouTube and everything else, which I think is important to have the ability to use decentralized video um, and not just still relying on YouTube because it sort of defeats the purpose if people are going there to avoid uh, censorship and stuff like that. So I think that's really great. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're both very similar platforms and I, I recommend them both very highly. And if you, if you like read.cash, you might also enjoy checking out publish OX. Um, mm. that is, uh, most of the time that we have, I I've got to mm. jump off very soon. Okay. So I, I really appreciate you coming on and sharing, uh, you know, your, your inspiration, what you've been doing in the past and, you know, everything about Bitcoin cash and, uh, and read dot cash. So, uh, again, thank you so much for coming on and, uh, and sharing all these, uh, sharing those insights with us. I'm sure a lot of people on the platform will be really keen on, uh, seeing a video interview of you. I've seen mostly written. So I think people will be excited to check that out. And again, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you also, Scott, for the interview and, and, and uh, helping people understand it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to talk again in the future. Awesome. Let's definitely uh, do that. I, maybe if there's like some big updates or something, we can come back and maybe talk about a, a Redoc Cash. Cool, cool. Thanks so much, Scott. Have a good one right. there in Canada. Awesome. You too. Also, uh, just before we go, if you'd like to share your social media tags and handles for uh, people to go and follow you as well. Yeah, I only use Twitter and YouTube right now. Um, uh, but um, yeah, um, I've, I have a library account also now as a backup. Um, so so yeah, it's just my name, Mark the Maisel, and you'll find my Twitter and, uh, and YouTube. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, everyone, make sure to go and check him out on Twitter, YouTube, and now library. Again, thank you so much for being on. Thank you, Scott. Bye. Thanks for watching this video to the very end. Since you did, make sure to give it a like and comment hashtag number one ham in the comments below. So that way I know that you watched the whole video. Also, please subscribe to this channel and feel free to follow me anywhere under at Scott C business. I'm basically on every platform. You can also share this with someone else who might gain value from it. And that would be very helpful and impactful to helping my channel grow as well. If you'd like to support me more directly, you can also donate to scottcbusiness.eth or scottcbusiness.crypto listed below. Thank you so much for your support and for watching this video. I'm Scott Cunningham, AKA Scott C business signing off. Cheers.